Hi everybody, this is Mike Gambrell with Blackhawk Paramotors. Um, we're going to start doing a series of videos on wheels. So there's been a lot of requests and we haven't really featured the low boy three much in, in a lot of videos and stuff. And it's just been, you know, the last year has been the same for everybody pretty much. It's just not been real easy to try and do that. So why we have a little bit of time here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start doing these videos and featuring wheels. Um, as everybody knows, as far as Blackhawk is concerned, we, we kind of started off with the Lowboy 2. And there was a previous one to this. That was This was the next evolution of it. And then there was a demand for kind of the older pilots that uh, knees aren't working so good anymore, uh, back problems, age, paying for our youth. So they've been foot launching and so there was a there was kind of a demand out there that we saw to where nobody wants to go out and make a huge investment in buying a whole new setup so why not come up with something that you can take your foot launch unit and readily adapt it and be sitting on some wheels to take off and land and not run around with this stuff on your back anymore so we end up with the light trike which has worked out really really well and we've adapted several different uh, manufacturers motors onto it uh, for customers and customers have done it themselves um, anyways so th this was really meant for the individual that has got some time under their belt foot launching and just wants to go right into just sitting on a set of wheels and being able to take off and land and have it lightweight this breaks down very easily and fits in the back of your car it literally and five minutes after you get used to it. Um, and then if you find yourself at the coast in a nice laminar wind and everything, six wing nuts, this is off, put it on your back and go foot launch. And then we decided that we, you know, with the original Low Boy 2, we were doing the uh, Intruder 250 four-stroke engines on there. And then that evolved into the Aero 1000. And the Aero 1000 presented some unique challenges for us because it was not readily adaptable onto anything that we were currently building. So we ended up building another set of wheels that just revolves around that platform. Uh, motor mounts were a lot different and stuff. So we figured, well, it's time that we introduce something new. So we came up with the Lowboy 3. And this one sitting here is actually serial number 001. It was the first one flown. And the motor that's on this one at the moment still is the original Aero 1000. It even still has all the little fittings on the exhaust and all that from when it was being run on the dyno. That engine we've had here for over two years. And that's when we discovered that, well, we're going to have to kind of switch our game up a little bit and design something that's really revolved around the engine itself. So anyways, this right here is where we're at now with the Low Boy 3. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do some videos and just featuring each one of these machines. Um, they're all available. I do want to make one comment on the on the Low Boy 2. Uh, we did develop some adapter brackets to where you could take the Low Boy 3 cage and the Aero 1000 and actually mount it onto your Low Boy 2, which is what I did with mine. Uh, it, it was kind of meant for those people that already have had Low Boy 2s and everything and running the older two strokes, you know, all the way back to the MZ34s on up and wanted to maybe just switch over and go to the four stroke and, and, kind of do it in a cheaper fashion. Um, that math actually doesn't work out that great uh, when it comes down to when you buy the motor, the cage, the adapter brackets, the prop, all that stuff that goes with it. It does save you a little bit of money, but in the end what we've been finding is that uh, that whole idea, um, even though it's available, um, hasn't hasn't really taken off. Uh, but so you guys know, it is it is available. Uh, we have had customers that uh, still like the old rugged look of the low boy too, and have actually special ordered them. So you can special order it. 
How long will it take? Good question. Shipping times, all that good stuff. Uh, it's been a little bit of a headache lately. So anyways, that option is there. You'll notice that on the Low Boy 3, the color scheme, this is what this is how they come. Uh, this one we have set up as a trike. And as everybody knows, it has the quad option available for it also, where literally it's a matter of pulling that bolt, slide it out, slide the other yoke in, and put that tire on one side, you add the other tire to the other side, and you've got a quad. Um, but this is the normal color scheme. You'll notice on the light trike, that's got a different color scheme to it. And of course, my, my quad over here is even yet a different color. You can order different colors. Uh, we do have color charts here and stuff if you want something that's a custom color. Uh, we can do it for you, but again, it's going to be a special order and you are going to have to wait for it. So what we're going to do is take you guys through a video series featuring the Low Boy 3, the Light Trike. Uh, we'll do a little bit on the Low Boy 2, but since that's not one of our main ones that we're selling anymore. Uh, we're going to really concentrate on these. Um, taking you through the features, what, what everything is on it. Um, I will refer you to assembly videos when it comes to the Low Boy 3. We did a very long assembly video on it. Um, I, think we did a, I think we did a pretty good job on that one because we've got a lot of great comments on it. People are, you know, they're not having to call and ask a billion questions about where does this go and where does that go. Um, we are going to be doing a, a video for the assembly of the Kestrel V3 frame. We've gotten a lot of calls on that one. Uh, and we have been referring you to the original Kestrel assembly video because honestly, folks, it goes together exactly the same. Uh, but anyways, we are going to go ahead and do a, an assembly video on that. Our new Kestrel Elite frame, a very lightweight frame, we're also going to do an assembly video on that at the same time. And you'll see that they, they all go together the same. But we're going to take you step by step and go through it exactly like we did the Low Boy 3. Here's all the parts. This is what tools you're going to need. And we're going to go through and approach it that way because uh, that's what you guys need. And, you know, we need to, we need to on our end, we want to get this one right. So... Anyways, without further ado, we're going to dive into taking you through each of these machines. So I'll catch you on the next video.